Hi everyone, this is Ellie May with Silhouette Secrets Plus, and today I'm gonna to show you how I'm gonna take a design from the Silhouette Studio software, and I'm gonna pull it into the Mint Studio software, and we are going to create a stamp with our Mint Silhouette Mint machine. So I've created my design here in the Silhouette Studio software. I am the most familiar with this software, and I know the design features of it the most, so it gives me the most options. You can design within the Mint Studio software. It is a pretty simplified program and has a few options in there, but today we're just, I'm gonna show you how you can create, I've created my design in Silhouette Studio, I'm gonna save it, and then I'm gonna pull it into the Mint Studio software. So what I have designed here, I'm gonna zoom on, on this so you can see. I have created these designs for um, teacher stamps. And I got this idea from a friend of mine a couple years back. She created them for teacher gifts. And this year I'm gonna do the same. So what I did was the probably the most time consuming part of any project I do is settling on the design, making the commitment of the design. Um, or creating the design. So that, that for me is the most time consuming part. So I've already done that in the Silhouette Studio. Um, it took me a couple days to do this, so you don't wanna see that on the video. Um, and I finally ended up having to just send it off to a friend of mine and ask Sarah, which one would you choose? And she told me that she liked this design and I said, okay, that's what I'm going with because I just could not make the decision. So once I have this design how I like it, I'm gonna take and I'm gonna save it. I usually have a working file in the Silhouette software, and then when I go to cut or do anything else, I will copy and paste that to a new design mat so I have a file to cut from, and I'm not working off of my original file. So I'm gonna choose File in the top left corner, Save As, Save to Hard Drive, and then I'm going to choose the location that I want to save it as. You can see I've saved one copy there. I'm just going to add a, a number to the end of it to save another copy that I'm going to be working from. I'm gonna click OK, and then I'm going to change over, and I'm gonna open the Mint Studio software. And when you first open the software for the very first time, you're going to come upon this screen until you click this little but box here. I just recently downloaded the latest version. I actually downloaded the beta version of the Mint Studio that they just recently updated. I've had no issues with it, but I haven't checked this box. So this, these options will still pop up when you first open the software. So you can either click on open in this little window. You can click on the open icon in the top left, or you can choose file open. All of those will get you to where you need to be to open the file. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is click on open. I'm going to choose where my design is from, and I saved it as final two, so I'm gonna open that file. It's gonna bring in all of the design that I had, and I did not group this, so I'm just going to select it all, and I'm gonna use Control G, and I'm gonna group those together. So now, then they they all move as one object. I'm gonna move the ones that I don't need away, and I'm going to select by clicking on the one that I would like to use. So I'm just going to make sure the object is selected. I'm gonna to go to object in the top left corner, choose align, and center to stamp. Now it's going to center it to the stamp size that I have chosen. Since I was using a 30 by 60 stamp before, it automatically reverted back to the 30 by 60. You'll find your stamp sizes under the stamp size icon up here in the top right corner. And like I said before, there are some design options that are available in the Silhouette Mint Studio program. Um, they're just very simple and I'm more familiar with Silhouette Studio. So I just used that and then brought my design in. It's a lot, it gives you a lot of different options you can use. So if you wanna choose your stamp size, my stamp size is gonna be the 30 by 60 stamp size. And you wanna choose that before you center your object or you'll have to do it again. So I've chosen the 30 by 60. My stamp is centered. I chose a line, center to stamp. Now I'm ready to go send it to my mint because I've already designed this in the Silhouette software. It's ready to go. I just need to align it to the center. Click on send to mint and it's gonna tell us exactly the steps it wants us to do in order to complete our stamp. 
Step one is to check your filters. I don't have any filters on this, but it is an option when you're using the Mint Studio software. Um, that's not something we'll use today. So you'll see at the bottom here, it says could not connect to the Mint. And that's because I haven't turned my machine on yet. So I'm gonna turn my machine on. When I do, it's going to then say ready. I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna click on start Mint. And we're gonna switch over to our Mint Studio software. And what you'll see is that it is flashing. It will flash for a little bit of time and then it'll, it'll turn it off again. So you want the black part facing up, the arrow in. We're going to carefully insert it into the back of the machine and it'll pick it up and it'll start to pull it in. And then it's going to create our stamp. And it doesn't take very long to do this, but while it's doing it, I'll show you a few that I've already created. These are little planner stamps that I have created. And if you're using it for personal use, you can see that you have a stamp block here and these stamp sheets just slide off of that stamp block. So you only need one block to use with multiple stamp sets. If you're giving it as a gift, you're going to have to give the whole stamp block and the stamp sheet with that. And you can see that it's printing with a thermal printing. And once it stops, you can pull that out of the machine. You're going to carefully bend it along the perforated lines. And you can peel that black stamp part away from the stamp sheet. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our stamp block that we have from our kit, and there's a protective cover on top. We are then going to peel this brown protective cover off. We're going to take our stamp sheet and with the smooth black side, back side, we're going to carefully align that and place it on the sticky side of that stamp. Carefully press it down and we have our stamp. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take the Silhouette Mint Ink. I have black, but there's all kinds of colors. And you're just going to ink that up. And you're gonna let that sit for about five to 10 minutes. As it soaks in, you can give it another coat. I do usually do two coats. And then after it's done, you are going to stamp off any of the excess. So what I like to do is after I've done the two coats, you'll see that it soaks in to the stamp. And after the two coats, I'll carefully wipe the excess off with a paper towel and then I'll start stamping it off. And they, they say you can get about 50 stamps to each ink fill, but I know you can get, sometimes you can get more. I think it just depends on how you've stored your stamp or how often you use it. Um, you can see that it's already, if you can see that, you can see in some areas it's already soaking in. So I'm just gonna let that sit for about five minutes. We'll see how much soaks in. So you just set that aside. And then I always do, a, I'll do a second round of the ink. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one that I've already made. So I have this one that's already been made. I've already stamped it off. Just gonna take a piece of paper and I can just stamp it off until it's clean, till that excess ink is clean. And then you can press it down and get a good stamp on there. And then in, once you have a good stamp, you can take these little pieces of paper that come with your stamp sheet and you can position it and stamp on it. And let that dry a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take and cover my stamp up. Once it's dry, I'm gonna carefully peel this back 
and I'm going to place that on the lid of the stamp. And then you'll be able to know which stamp is what. And there you have a personalized stamp. And you can create all kinds of things. I've created planner stamps. I have a stamp to stamp envelopes with. And so I'm going to give this little kit to the teachers with a bottle of the ink so that they can re-ink it and their stamp. And then some instructions, just a few instructions on how to re-ink their stamp or how often they have to do it. And that'll be the um, little teacher gift. I'll add something else in with it and we'll call it good. So there we have just taken a design that we created in the Silhouette Studio software, pulled it into the Mint Studio software. Both programs are free. The basic program for Silhouette Studio is free on the Silhouette website, along with the Mint Studio software. If you're looking to purchase a Mint, I would click in the blog post that's linked below and I have a link to it on Amazon. You can find it for pretty reasonable right now. And then you can watch for sales on supplies. Silhouette America has the supplies at a reasonable price. You just have to shop around for that, but I also have links there for that. Uh, take advantage of any sales that you find. Um, but this is a really neat little project, um, a neat little gift that you could give somebody too. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Hope you have a great day. Thank you.